Hey everyone, this is Chris. Welcome back to the channel. So I wanna have a talk with you guys about what to do if you're in the situation of Facebook. And if you guys know what happened with Facebook is, recently they're on a hiring freeze now and they're gonna be doing some restructuring. So this is very scary for people who are in this position. And the first thing that if you're in this position, what you wanna be doing is reaching out to your boss essentially, reaching out to your manager, reaching out to the person who's directly above you in charge of your team, because hiring decisions are often done locally, right? So Mark Zuckerberg is not gonna walk around in his office or walk around his team and say, you know what, I like you, I don't like you, I like you, I don't like you. He's not gonna do that. It's gonna be done you know, by each team and essentially they're all given a budget and then everyone's gotta determine, sort of the team leader, gotta determine like, who they're keeping and who they're letting go. Unfortunately, some people are gonna be let go in the situation. And so what you need to be doing is sort of reaching out and say, hey, this is the value I bring to the company. This is the value that I've done this year. And this is sort of the things I'm looking forward to working on in the future. And you wanna paint it that it would be very foolish for them to let you go because you're on some vital projects that make money for the company. Let me be real at this. You wanna prove that you make money for the company. There too, you wanna to be thinking as well, and this is even before this point, is you always wanna be reaching out to other teams to get a sense of sort of like, what, what else is going on in the company because here's also the reality, and this is very true. If you take a look at something like Google, right? Uh, they announced that um, their video game division is gonna be shut down. So what does that mean? That means no matter how hard you work, no matter how hard uh, of, of a work you are, no matter how good you are, no matter how many skills you are, how many talents you have, if you're on the wrong team and they're cutting that team, you're probably gonna be let go. And so the reason why you wanna be sort of get a sense of what the whole organization is doing is because you, can, so you want to sort of position yourself to where like if there is a need somewhere else or if there is a situation to where like you can move to a different team, you wanna be keeping an eye out for that. And, and that is sort of like, uh, all the way through your career is don't just think of yourself when your organization is that you only make friends and only make colleagues on your particular department or particular team. You wanna be reaching out to everyone and sort of be like a cross-platform or cross-skilled person in, in a way. Um, one of the things that we talked about, and I do always appreciate comments from people, is, um, you know, I said you wanna sort of have your special skill, your superpower, something you're good at, and always have that on display. But you wanna think about how can you expand your skills uh, why? Because again, say if you're on that Google uh, game team and suddenly you know, your skill in that team is, is essentially, even though it's good, it's not worth anything anymore to the company because they're cutting it. You wanna figure out, okay, how can you sort of position yourself to say, you know what, I have transferable skills that work on other teams and also too, you're constantly training yourself, right? You're constantly learning new things, so you're not putting all your eggs in one basket. This is something that, I'll just tell you, for example, uh, as a professor, um, I teach multiple, multiple, multiple classes because for example, sometimes, this just happens how it is, uh, you go to one university and they might already have 10 people that teach international relations or they have 10 people that teach history or they have 10 people that teach finance, right? You wanna be that one person that teaches that core subject that no one else can teach, right? You wanna be able to sort of be in a situation where you have multiple skills that are, that are all useful because if you put yourself in sort of self-contained uh, one basket kind of situation, um, you're setting yourself for these kind of situations to where you're not as flexible, right? So you wanna be uh, doing a couple things. One is you wanna say, hey, you know what, company, I'm a problem solver, I bring value to you, I bring profits to the company, and you need me because uh, I'm always growing and, I'm, and I have a positive energy to add to this company. Um, the other thing too I want you to be thinking as well when you're talking about these kind of things is sort of like, how can you position yourself to, if you did have to leave the company, do you know people outside the company? Because one of the things I think is important too, this is just reality. Uh, in this day and age, unfortunately, a lot of people have to change jobs every couple of years. Because sometimes, if you feel like you're not being recognized where you're at, you gotta be moving on and finding people who are gonna recognize you uh, for how good you are. Because you're gonna find a place where people are gonna appreciate you somewhere, right? And also too, always be thinking about whenever you do something good at a company, write it down. Whenever you make profits for a company or finish a particular project, write it down and write down what your role is exactly is and how much value and put it in dollar terms you made for the company. Um, I, I know that all of these things sound kind of ridiculous because like, why are you doing this? Because what you're doing, you're keeping a record of sort of the value that you bring. Um, there's a couple things of why that's important because um, sometimes people don't know you that well, right? And so when you're reaching out to people, you wanna be sort of really obvious of like, when someone says, okay, why, why should they hire you? Why should they take you? He's like, he's like well, because I worked on this project and it did my company like five million in revenue and um, we were really successful and we did that in three months and, and we were supposed to do it in four months but we finished it early and my particular role in that thing was like I got X contract, right? That kind of thing. You want to be really, really specific about that and be very proactive and aggressive on the value that you bring. So, you know, one of the things that I, I, I know it's tough in this world because we're going into recession and things can be uncertain is sort of like the best way to think about it this way 
is if you're always hungry and you're always like, you know what, I, I, I want more, uh, you know what, I, I'm, I'm gonna keep trying for more, um, you'll position yourself to where the times are bad, you're gonna be used to that thing, right? Never get too comfortable where you are because uh, this is the reality, the world is completely unpredictable and one of the things that's sort of funny, and I'm just telling you guys, for, for me, is um, I've lived long enough to just say, nothing lasts forever and I'm actually always surprised when things do. Um, because I've seen so much turmoil in the world, especially this coming uh, recession, which I think is going to be really bad. Um, the reason is that we, we've already seen several companies announce layoffs. We're seeing slowdowns uh, around the world because a lot of times too, when there's slowdown, say in the USA, you can always go to somewhere else and be like, hey, there's growth in other countries. But this particular year, it seems like all the countries are having you know massive inflation and uh, I think unemployment is going to go up. So growth is going to slow. So um, always be positive and again, put your abilities out there and say, you know what, I'm going to be proactive in my career and I'm gonna find the best opportunity available to me and I'm gonna show that I'm a problem solver and I'm gonna show that I'm a valuable and essential part of a particular company. So I hope this is helpful, useful for you. I always like to just have these chats with you guys, get your thoughts in these things and um, share some uh, tips and hints in the comments. Um, we're here to help each other and uh, thanks again for watching. I'll catch you in the next video.